Right, good morning. <laughs> Part two of our colour inspiration journal. I'm not 100% certain of what I'm supposed to be doing here, but I'm just going to go for it. Um, my chosen shape is going to be an oval. I've cut, I've got the um, Cricut machine out. I've got it cutting ovals and egg shapes and stuff. So um, I cut a load of those the other night. Um, my chosen colours from my colour palette are orange and turquoise. So we've got them opposite each other here. I just didn't have any of these darker blues and, and I'm very limited on oranges. I didn't realise that actually because that is the most orange one I've got and it's called cadmium orange hue and that's turquoise blue. I'm going to go with that. I don't know if that's right or not. <laughs> we're, do we're doing it. So um, initially I was going to use watercolours for my colours but... Um, I thought if I do that and I want to put wet stuff on top, they're going to run like mad. So that's why I've switched to acrylics. So that's the only reason. I'm going to move that out of the way. Um, yeah, so what I'm thinking of doing, so that's them on watercolour, but as you can see, they're very um, pearlescent. So I'm going to pop those to one side for now and we'll stick with... Um, acrylics which is here I'm just trying to think what else I've done um, what else do I need to update you on I did some stitchery stuff yesterday um, yeah I played around with some fibres and things and I kind of tried to do just to make sure I'm in shot um, you know what the colours could potentially look like in thread you know where you've got the where you add the black and you add the white the same with the orange yeah these are about as close as i could get it's what it is so i just played around with cross stitch and this one was one that um, i actually took inspiration from the book um uh, i think it's downstairs um but just the the stitchy side of it so i found obviously blue and orange a couple of different shades of orange three shades of blue and then just stitch the heck out of it and i think that's quite nice i think that'll go in as a nice sort of stitchy representation of the colors that i'm hoping to go for um that might, i might even have that sticking out there i don't know where to put this at the moment so i'm just going to put that on my little tray of wonderfulness behind me and um let's get started i don't want to put anything on the first page in case you didn't see this is a cheapy sea white sketchbook it's cartridge paper it is 160 gsm i'm hoping it's going to stand up to paint if it doesn't i'll have to change halfway through and um, get a mixed media i have got a mixed media pad but i got these <laughs> front page i want to leave um probably do a title page or something so i've got a piece of um, packaging here i'm going to use that as a palette to which i'm going to add black and white to my colours here and see what we get. Now I did have grand thoughts of painting the ovals and making something decorative out of the ovals but you know I don't think I will. I think I'm just going to go straight onto the paper because they were mixed media. I'm hoping this is going to stand up to it. I, had, I found another one before I start. Are you the same? Yeah, you are. Right, okay. Um, do I risk it? Oh, well, we'll find out. Right, let's get uh, painting. I had a brush. There it is. Okay, so I think I'll concentrate on the blues first. I think that's going to be my main uh, colour. It's going to be the focus colour, if you like. I do love these. You get them in the range if you're in the UK. Um, let's do right. Look, okay, let's do it with white. Oh, it's a brand new one. I might need to open a new one. Actually, thinking about it. With white and with. Right, 
let's see what we can do I'm not holding out much hope here <laughs> as I say I wasn't quite um uh so we do the darker ones that way lighter ones that way I think anyway I hope you're having a good day it is Friday it's the end of my work week hurrah so it's all good take a little bit of white maybe a little bit more A lot of white went in there, was there? Let's put a little bit more in. Very sea colours, I think, as well. Let's see if I can squeeze one more. I'll speed you up for the for the rest of it where I do the oranges probably shouldn't really mix colour like that with a brush but nice I like right okay This thing out. This is an old um, dehumidifier thing, you know, capture box thing. <laughs> I don't know what they call them. Yeah, if you've got um, if you've got a very damp house, it they capture the water, dehumidifier. That's all I know them as. Right, I'm going to speed you up now because um, yeah, I'm just going to do black into the blue now here and then I'll get on and do exactly the same with the orange with black and white okay uh, let's make sure you're in shot yeah. um right Right, okay, well that's the blues. Kinda like I kinda like that colour. That's um with a bigger blob of black in it and then obviously black, white, and you saw the rest of it, so right, let's get on and try these oranges now. Right, okay. 
I'm loving, um, let me see if you can see the colours. Look at those. I'm liking those. Really, really nice. Hmm. I'm liking this one as well. I dragged it down a bit so I could see it sort of pulled out a bit, if you like. So it's quite a bit of black and, and orange. So, yeah, really nice. So, right, let's carry on. Okay. I might have to let this dry. <laughs> So this is a cadmium orange hue, cad orange hue, so let's check what is blue, Right, okay. I'm going to let this all dry and um, I'll come back and I think of our first project. No idea what I'm going to do, but I'll be back soon. Right, they're all dry, I think. I'm loving that blue. I don't know if you can actually get the... Look at that colour. I had velvet like that once. Beautiful. Hmm. Um, I pulled the gel plate out, because why not? Um yeah right okay so i want to do a gel print next because i really think you know with all the ovals that'll look good and i'm thinking of layering it up i've no idea what i'm doing by the way in case i haven't told you that already <laughs> i am literally playing here now then do i just roll out this lot Why not? It's going to get wasted otherwise. So. Oh, squeaky brow, of course. That's almost obligatory, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Don't know why, but obviously we need squeak. If I do it that way, it doesn't squeak. So I'll do it that way. Save your ear rolls. I'm not going to put the black on yet. That's going to be far too much otherwise. Cool. Um, let me put them on there. I'm going to reuse those, so I want to keep them. You'll do. Come here. Oh no, actually. Sorry for reaching in front of you. Didn't think that far ahead. You knew there was going to be gel printing, didn't you? I mean, it's pretty obvious. I'm a little bit addicted to it. Sorry if my head's getting in the way. <laughs> Come on, off. I'll be dry in a minute. Uh, one more there. Right, let's see what we can do. Ugh. I really like that orangey end, so I think we'll go here. This is the Dina Wakely um, gel plate. Um, it comes in a set of three, so you get the big one, little one, and a circle one. So I'm probably going to wish that I'd done circles by the time this is. Uh, finished because they're a much easier shape but I like these ovals Ooh, nice good colors excellent and um, still got some on here so let's it's really awkward to do and film at the same time. I was wondering if I could get that. It could go on there, couldn't it? Um, I have run out of room. I am contemplating a shift around in my craft room again, I know. 
because I just don't have enough dust desk area. So So when it comes to doing stuff like this, I'm constantly in a, in a muddle, basically. Right, if this doesn't print perfectly, I'm not going to be upset. Right. Cool. Nice. I like it. And then what I want to do is with another layer of more translucent colours... You can tell I've been thinking about this, can't you? Is um, go back in. See, I've just completely run out of room. This desk is not big enough. <laughs> in with those. I don't need black and white for a bit. Right. I'm going to try mixing these um this transparent red and this transparent yellow to see if i can get a transparent orange what do you reckon what's the chances look at the colors on there i wonder if i can capture some of that i hate wasting paint especially when you've got really nice mixed up colors like that to avoid picking up the black just yet fun 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 right As this works out to be quite a handy little paint palette. Ugh, that's soaking wet. <laughs> Make sure you're clean. Right. right. Let's see if we can... If we can make some sort of an orange here. Check actually and see if PBO do a transparent orange. I don't think that's enough. Oh, I don't know. It's too much red actually. Right. Come on, I don't want a lot. Ooh, crikey, hold on. Then I'll drop it on the floor. Oh, paper. It's going well. That's kind of a burnt orange. That'll do. <laughs> Go with that. Good grief. Um, right, I really want to put those back. I see I've got no room. Right, let's move you there. Put you there. Put you there. You here. I'm going to reuse these, so in case you hadn't guessed, it's probably pretty obvious, I'll be honest with you. Right, I want these bits in so that they get covered in paint. Should be enough, yeah. Right, okay, let's see what mess we can get into here. Just 
touch some black. Yes, I thought I had. Oh, it's all going wrong. <laughs> could be quite funky actually although the trouble is the black is a very opaque but let's see what happens shall we just trying to keep these just want to use those later on Yeah, come here. So once again, let's do a quick desk shuffle. I think I want that end more. Don't you dare fall off. speed some of this up for you although I don't know it's quite nice to watch people struggle in it sometimes <laughs> oh I had grand plans I thought oh it'll be easy I'll do this I'll do that <sighs> yeah grand plans Good. The layers are working, so that's all good. I'm just going to quickly stamp that here, get rid of this. It's gone wonky, but never mind. Yeah, so I want to build up lots and lots of transparent layers now. So I'm going to go one more with this one. It's not quite turquoise, but I think it might show up. It is a metallic. It's a super, super cheapy. It's peacock green, <laughs> but I'm kind of limited with what um, with what colours I've got. So use what you have. I think we're all promoting that with this thing. Ooh, funky. Right, let's just um, clean a bit of that off and see if we can get this nice green on top now Ooh, it's super crusty um i'm just looking at this so where do i need to try and aim for could do with one here uh could i no right i'm gonna leave that there and kind of try and work out where i want color and where i don't want color so i do want it here because i want this colored so if i put one about here kind of i've got no idea let's just chuck them on we'll just have to wing it <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> Let's just break this up a little bit, I think. Is that about the right length? Yep, yeah. right. I just want to put a single colour on this one. Brown. Oh, Christ. I keep forgetting how runny that one is. I didn't want... I don't want ink underneath it. Right, everybody stick down, please. Come on, behave. You're on a gel plate. Now just do as you're told. As you can see, it's very, very transparent.
think this is going to be terribly successful. That was a lot of paint and it's gone super sloopy. Yeah. I wonder if I can wipe some of these bits out. It's kind of splitting on the plate anyway, so it is getting very old, that ain't a paint, so really can't complain. Right, let's see if it makes any difference whatsoever. It might not even show up, but there again it might. Oh, actually, let's do it the other way. You can actually see where I'm going then. So I'm trying not to get everything covered in paint. <laughs> no, I'm not succeeding. absolutely refuse to waste these paints so what I might do is um, I've got some offcuts here of mixed media paper I'm gonna put them on the gel plate those paints and let's see what we can do because they might be useful later on I don't know what else we've got to do so I've tried to make sense, sense of the book but well it did work yeah, you can see the three layers. That's pretty cool, actually. Um, I'm just trying to... Let's see what else we can get off there. Yeah, that's what actually, that's worked really well. And I quite like the white bits in there. It kind of gives it a bit of a break, doesn't it? Right, well that's, uh, I think, that's kind of got the gel printing portion out of my system. <laughs> so, I knew there would be gel printing of some form or another. So, cool, that's more or less cleaned that off now. Let me just take that off there. Ooh, she's still... Like trying to contain a worm. <laughs> Slippery little sucker. Trying to just get the last bits of this paint. Right, there we are. Okay. So, I'm going to make a do for now. So we've got some gel prints. We've got the actual, you know, that's the two main colours that we've got. I've got in the tubes. I'm getting paint everywhere, aren't I? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it. Mixed with white, mixed with black, black and white. So that's fine. Run off there. Yep. Yeah. And um, yeah, we've got our first shapes, our ovals. Don't know which one I like better, actually. I love the layers on that, but I like the definition on that. And then, of course, I've got these that I can play around with. Uh, yeah, and do something with. I'm not quite sure what. Anyway, I'm going to clear up <laughs> and I'll speak to you um, on the next video. I'll see you then. Bye.